Hi, I'm Rebecca McDonald. I'm Alessa Berenbach. I'm Gabby Park. I'm Emmanuel Morales, and our project design was on image processing using synthetic aperture radar. In this image, you can see that the radar device has been attached to a moving aircraft. As the aircraft moves, signals are transmitted and received at various intervals. The received signals are stored and processed through an imaging algorithm. This technique is known as Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, and it allows for a high-resolution image to be generated through the use of a single radar system. The goal of our project was to implement a radar imaging system capable of generating two-dimensional target images. In order to achieve this goal, we use a frequency modulated continuous wave radar, a linear rail system, and a SAR imaging algorithm. This is the linear rail that was built in order to implement the synthetic aperture radar technique. It is one meter in length and it has a small platform that will glide down the rail with a radar attached to it. These are the components used to build and operate the linear rail system. Here we have highlighted the stepper motor, the stepper motor driver, and the Arduino Uno. The code to move the linear rail is programmed onto the Arduino Uno. MATLAB communicates with the microcontroller through the use of an RS-232 COM port. Using the Arduino Uno and the stepper motor driver allows for precision control of the stepper motor. This is the radar device that was used for the project. The device operates in the K-band frequency range and has a center frequency of 24.75 GHz and a maximum bandwidth of 1.5 GHz. The range migration algorithm was chosen for the image formation process and consists of four major steps, a one-dimensional cross-range Fourier transform, a matched filter application, a Stolt interpolation, and a two-dimensional inverse Fourier transform. The SAR imaging algorithm was implemented using MATLAB. The code is capable of accommodating different types of FMCW radar devices and synthetic aperture links. Communication between the radar device and MATLAB is accomplished via an RS-232 COM port. Using MATLAB, the user can specify a designated aperture length and aperture spacing. The aperture length is limited to a total of 2 feet. Once the radar device has reached the end of the rail, the small platform will reset to its initial position. In order to achieve a longer length, the user must shift the entire rail system by 2 feet after the reset is complete. As the device moves along the rail system, data is collected at regular intervals specified by the user. For this project, an aperture length of 8 feet was chosen. Data was collected at intervals of one-third of an inch. The final data was processed using MATLAB, and a final image was generated showing cross-range and downrange measurements. Here we can see that the three metal targets are at the same downrange distance from the aperture length. This is the image MATLAB will generate as you can see, cross-range is on the x-axis and downrange is on the y-axis. The three targets are clearly defined in the image. Here we can see that the three metal targets are at the same relative cross-range distance. The MATLAB image clearly shows that the three metal targets are lined up behind one another. In conclusion, this project was beneficial for understanding the synthetic aperture radar technique. Future UAH students will be able to expand on the design by implementing the same SAR imaging system on a moving vehicle.